Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brandon from Ashton Fisher and you're tuning in to Ashton Fisher TV. Yeah. Okay, welcome to 2017 everybody. Uh, congratulations on 2016. Some of you had a good year, some of you had a bad year, but that's okay, it's over. We're moving ahead. So now that we're in January, everybody likes to think about their goals and their plans moving ahead. And I'm sure everybody has something to do with their, their finances and how to better themselves and get toward financial freedom. So I put this little video here together today to try and help you get some basic theories and, and mold some rituals to get towards your goal. Uh, success and failure are, are a result of your rituals. Uh, failure never happens uh, as a big blunt event all of a sudden. It, it's, a, it's a lifetime of, of slow rituals that lead you to that point. And it's the same with success. We see that successful person, but, but they've had a lifetime of successful rituals that have put them in that spot. So the million dollar question, how do we create wealth? How do we get rich? How, how do we create wealth for ourselves and, and earn financial freedom? Um, before we get into that, I want to start with some definitions. Uh, first, the definition between money and wealth. Uh, money is measured in dollars and wealth is measured in time. Uh, you can give a thousand dollars, let's say you have a thousand dollars and you give it to a, a backpacker in, in Central America or, or Southeast Asia or something. That's probably going to get them a long way. They, they would be quite wealthy with that thousand dollars. You gave a thousand dollars to a to a family man with uh, two houses and two cars and three kids. That is the same amount of money, but it's significantly lower amount of wealth. Uh, the other definition I want to define is the difference between assets and liabilities. Uh, simply as I can put it, uh, assets are things that put money into your pocket. Liabilities are things that take money out of your pocket. So now that we've cleared that up, asset, assets, put money in your pocket, liabilities, take money out of your pocket. Uh, we go back to the question, how do, we, how do we truly create wealth? Well, simply buy assets. Uh, rich people uh, buy assets. Uh, middle class people buy liabilities that they think that are assets. As simple as that sounds, uh, some some intellects and, and well-educated people get a little bit insulted. They think, well, no, it's more complicated than that. There's lots of moving parts, but but I believe in, in the KISS theory. Uh, keep it super simple. Or keep it simple stupid. <laughs> Whatever you want to say, I believe things can be broken down to as simple as possible. And keeping it as simple as possible just makes things a lot easier. So let's look at some spending habits. First, we're going to look at the spending habit of a poor person. So here's the income statement and the balance sheet. You see the income, the expenses, and the assets, and the liabilities. So a poor person will have a job or a salary, and they have income coming in, and then they spend their money on their expenses, like taxes, rent, food, transportation, clothing, and then that's where their money goes. It comes in, and it goes out. Okay, so let's take a look at a middle-class person's cash flow. Uh, they probably have a job and a salary and an income, uh, they probably have a pretty good job, so they probably went to school, so they probably have student loans to pay off. And because they have a good job, they can buy a house and buy a car and maybe buy their wife a car. And So now they've spent their money on some liabilities and they've racked up their expenses like their taxes, their mortgage payments, car payments, credit card payments, and, and all the other clothing and food expenses. And that's where their money comes in. The income goes through their liabilities. Uh, what's left over they have to spend and then their money goes up that way Okay, now let's look at the income statement of a rich person They may have a job they may not but they ha normally have some sort of income coming in with that income They pay for their expenses Which is normally more than enough and then now that they have the leftover money they invest that in assets They invest it in uh, notes bonds stocks or our favorite real estate and those assets puts money back into income, which covers their expenses. And with the balance, they buy more assets, which makes more income, which makes more assets. And it goes round and round and creates this upward spiral. And that's how the rich get richer. They invest in assets, their income grows to be more than enough to cover their expenses. And then the balance goes back into the asset column, which grows their income more and more into an upward spiral into financial freedom. So these theories I'm telling you aren't anything new. These are out of uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad. Uh, when I first read this book, it really changed my outlook on the way I spend my money. And ever since uh, Ashton Fisher was born, we've been building our real estate portfolio and we've never looked back. It's been great. 
Uh, so I want you guys to, to do me a favor. Look at your spending. Are you spending your money on assets? Or are you spending money on liabilities? Are you spending your money on things that cost you money? Or are you trying to acquire things that can put money into your pocket? So I want to share something with you guys. Uh, we've kind of created a new system uh, of investing to help everyone get a chance at passive income with above average returns uh, secured by real estate. Uh, in the past, we've used uh, one or two very minimal investors per deal with fairly large investments, but we've created a system where, where you can invest as much or as little as you want into the same uh, deal and we can provide just the same return. So you can invest $100,000, you can invest $10,000, you can invest uh, $50,000, it all works out to about $10,000 blocks and uh, everyone has a chance to, to earn that passive income and, and buy those assets which will contribute to the income which will hopefully let you buy more assets. So thanks for listening. I uh, hope you guys haven't turned me off yet, but uh, all the best for 2017. Uh, Brandon with Ashton Fisher and uh, good luck buying assets this year. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you.